For the first 23 years of medical practice, I was really just your typical physician. In my training in medical school, the focus was in diagnosing and treating disease. We learned very little about how to prevent disease. In fact, I can't even recall a lecture that was just devoted to nutrition, and I never learned anything about the health benefits my patients could receive by taking nutritional supplements. I was taught that all you needed was to eat a healthy diet and get the RDA levels of nutrients from your diet. Well, I did learn a lot about disease and drugs and the treatments needed to best treat these diseases. You see, physicians spend nearly all of their time treating serious end-stage diseases. This was made very obvious to me during my training when I would spend some time following a cardiologist around all day. We would start our day making rounds in the intensive care unit, treating those problems that were developing in patients who had just had a heart attack the day or two before. During our round, it was not unusual to be called back to the ER because a patient had come in with an acute heart attack and was having a cardiac arrest. If they survived the resuscitation, we would be off to the heart catheterization room to do a coronary angiogram and possibly the placement of stints in their coronary arteries. Then it was back to the intensive care unit to see the rest of his or her patients. Next, we would go to the office to see those patients who had had their heart attack the week or two before, only to return to the hospital for evening rounds. Well, to be honest, we did not spend much time educating our patients on the healthy lifestyles they could establish in order to best slow down or even possibly reverse their disease. There was only just enough time to prescribe medication, especially statin drugs, and make sure they were not having any medical problems. Even what I was calling preventive medicine was essentially just early detection of disease. Just think about it. When I would do a complete well physical on any of my patients, I would go over their past history, present complaints, do a physical and some blood work, looking for evidence of those silent diseases. I would look for that silent high blood pressure or possibly even elevated blood sugar or high cholesterol that my patients may or may not be aware of. When I did a pap smear, a mammogram, or a PSA, I was simply looking for those early cancers. If I didn't find any disease, I would just pat my patients on the shoulder and tell them that they were in good health and out the door they went. Now, I was good when it came to diagnosing and treating any disease I did find. In fact, many physicians learn in their training that if they don't write a prescription for their patients, that they really have not earned their office call fee. Such is the state of traditional or what we call allopathic medicine in the world today. So why are you surprised when your physician informs you that all nutritional supplements do is create expensive urine? After all, this is how we have been trained. I did not title my book, What Your Doctor Doesn't Know About Nutritional Medicine, without a good reason. I certainly didn't know much about nutritional medicine before I began to independently study the medical literature in regards to the health benefits my patients could receive by taking high quality nutritional supplements. Instead of disease care expert, I feel that now I have become that true healthcare expert I have always wanted to be. My goal now is to teach my patients about how they can become more proactive in protecting their health rather than simply waiting to treat them after they have lost their health.